Okay, so. Join uploaded uh, notes. Okay, uh, so complete notes uploaded now. Mm. Yesterday I said to you one small example I was taken. What is that? If you design your table, the table will be allowed uh, duplicates information, null information, and uh, invalid of data. Like we send 45,000 age, something we are inserting into table, but that kind of value is also accepted. Okay, now, so that is what it was happened generally if you created a normal table, but that kind of tables in real time, no one can accept. So your clients will never accept that kind of table. Suppose you design that kind of table and you will, you will give it a client now, the client will never take that kind of exam, that kind of uh, tables. Then how I can go to design my tables, okay? Means uh, I want to design my tables with the proper, okay, uh, what we can say accuracy and consistency manner like uh, if any user unfortunately he want to insert some invalid of data that should be not allowed okay now so suppose user fortunately he was inserted some duplicate that should be not allowed so fortunately he was insert nulls that should be not allowed so this kind of things sir, where it was required in database means, sir, for example, if you are a, uh, if in this any Java, Python, .NET students are there. So generally what it was happen, let's just imagine, are you creating one Java form or one UI something, something you design like a UI form. And this UI is called as your Okay, simple I can say, suppose it is a registration form are you designing for your website. So, in this registration form, you will be taking some contents like uh, enter user ID. Okay, enter user ID. Next, okay, enter some password. Next, suppose enter the confirm password. Okay, right. So suppose designing some form. You are designing some form. You are designing some form. Okay, now right. Then after year one function name is okay. Suppose what is my button submit is there, and definitely. This information, whatever we registered, this information in your database, we are saving into one particular table. One particular table. Suppose this table is called as a registration table. Registration table, my table name, I just uh, preparing like this. I just, <laughs> okay, now, right. When I was prepared like this year, what it was happen, okay? Suppose if I'm not applying any restrictions on this table, what it was happen, okay? The every information what we are inserted here that will be accepted. For example, one user ID will come. He was entered, okay, X, the password is entered one, two, three. Confirm password is entered one, two, three. 
and you click on submit button then what it was happen this is called a user id in your table column this is called as a password this is called as a confirm password so now first record when submitter successfully inserted here so x and it was saving into 123 and it was saving into 123 okay sir the record data successfully registered but the second user is come he is also entered user id x he was entered password 1234 1234 then he was click on this again what it was happened this information also inserted into your table but can you tell me any user id will be having like a duplicates no every user id should be different okay now but here x x x x any number of users came any number of user will come and create their user id on the same id but the same id will be saving into databases so if it was allowed or allocate like this or allowed like this do you have any problem problem is there huh? yes so when it was problem here suppose at the time of you login login what it was asking username and it was asking password and this is called a login button this is called a login button now the user came he was entered his username is x he entered his name is one two three okay now it will be login now tell me whatever the user id password is going to be verified by your database first of all so username is x so x is equals to x condition true okay and here our password is also one two three and here also i'm taking one two three password both people password is also same then what it was happening here confusion is occurred huh? yes so which person is login which person i want to give a permissions to allowed so this kind of so much confusions and ambiguous problems are occurred that's why that's why in real time what happened maybe passwords are same but user IDs are different. So this kind of problems will be facing when you are not applying some restrictions on the table. Same as, for example, suppose, are you entered here? Okay, suppose, again in the registration forms you can see. Suppose here, I'm taking here, enter user ID something, and here some text box is there and your submit button is there for example okay so for this i have to prepare one table and my table name is what now uid this is table is what for example registration table something so now he was not entered anything in the text box control he didn't enter anything in the text box control but he just click on submit what it was happening this request will go to save here saved so without entering any value in my text box still user is click on submit then the request is successfully submitted and what it will be save in your database table null null is nothing but what i said empty so empty saved so these kind of problems are facing that's why can you see in registration forms if any field if you left and suppose there are seven fields are there in seven fields six fields are you enter some value one field you didn't give it and when you click on submit what happened anybody identify what happened ah so in which field are you not entered your value there beside only one red color mark will be rise that is called a validations. What it was saying that you must and should be enter some value into this. So that's why sometimes you can see in registration forms, they will be giving some stars. Star means mandatory fields. So you must be entered some value. Okay, now. So if you enter some value, that value will be saved. If you are not entered any value, directly click on submit. So it will be saving what now empty 
but empty if I'm saving like this in my table, what is the use for me? Is there any useful? Not at all. So that's why how you can say if I entered user ID some X and I'm also enter X, then what it was saying this user ID already existing. Okay, so you must and should be enter some value in this field. This field is a mandatory field. So you must be enter some value. So these kind of things or these kind of problems I can go to avoid here. So on my tables, you need to apply one concept is called as what now constraints we have. If you apply constraints, what happened? This kind of empty text box value, duplicate values. Okay, I can restrict it here. Okay, suppose what I'm going to do. So suppose are you created now as usual user id okay some password some confirm password you are taken out so now this is your registration form you created like this this registration form data i'm going to save into one database table i created my table also like this but this time my table i'm creating with the proper restrictions i'm creating that's called as user ID. That's called as password. That's called as confirm password. But what I am doing here on user ID, I will apply a primary key. When I was apply primary key, what it was happening, guys, here, if first user come, he was registered X and he was entered one, two, three. He was entered one, two, three, and he click on which button? Submit button. When you click on submit button, this data will be saved. X now one, two, three. Confirm password one, two, three. So your row successfully inserted. If second time, if any other user will come and he want to register and he is also trying to create their user ID X. Password I'm giving, confirm I'm giving, I'm clicking on submit. What it was happening here, observe. Whenever the second user came and giving same user ID, then it will be traveling to your database. Database immediately what it will do with the help of primary key. First, this value is already existing in my table or not checking. If already existing, then primary key what it will do, it will be stopping your value because primary keys are not allowed duplicates. So immediately the duplicate user ID, whatever user is going to be preparing here, that user ID will be not allowed. It will be rejected. It will be rejected and sending your message, sending your database server message to client application. What is this? This user ID already existing. This is one thing. Next one is what now? Another problem is what now? Suppose if you are not entered anything, if you are not entered anything and I will go to submit, I not entered even the user ID password, confirm password. Otherwise, these two are I entered, but user ID not entered. Okay, if you click on submit, then this request will go to this table. Then primary key will checking that is there any nulls are existing or not checking. If it is not, then what it was primary key, what it will do, the nulls are not allowed. Because the primary key nature is what now? Not only restricted duplicates. It will be restricted nulls also. That means empties are not allowed. So this problem is also we can overcome. So this kind of the, some real life or real time, okay, scenarios, level or scenarios, your constraints sir, one of the major important roles will be played. Understand? Na? So that's why especially Java, .NET, Python, PHP, who are working on web applications, who are working on web applications, who are working on Windows form applications, they must be have the good knowledge of uh, constraints. When you have a good knowledge of constraints, these kind of uh, duplicate problems, these kind of uh, empty problems, we can overcome. Okay, now? So that is importance of your constraints. But sir, how my table should be maintained proper accuracy and consistency how data can be maintained means uh, there is a one concept is there here the concept is called as what now data integrity now take siding data integrity
so what is data integrity it must okay what is data integrity means to maintain to maintain accurate and consistency data in database table so accurate means what now exactly whatever you want it consistency is nothing but the regularity of data that means sir don't allow any duplicates don't allow any nulls don't allow the invalid of data okay if user try to insert duplicate not allowed try to insert nulls not allowed try to insert invalid of data not allowed okay so that kind of uh, restrictions if you want to provide then only you will get a accurate information okay now so that technique and mechanism is called as what now data integrity but this data integrity okay how i can achieve means there are two ways are there two achievements or to achieve this what is that declarative data integrity is one thing and it can be implementing implementing by implementing by using by using what now constraints constraints is a part of a sql language second one is called as your procedural integrity procedural integrity procedural data integrity the second one so this can be implemented this can be implementing by using triggers and uh, triggers is a part of pls kit okay right these are two ways the two ways to maintain my data with accurate and uh, consistency of data if you want to maintain there are two mechanisms here declarative and procedural declarative we are implementing by using of constants keys okay now and this is a part of sql language and procedure means what now user define so that means sir uh, every requirement is not possible to fulfill by using predefined as yes i know so when our requirements are not reached by the help of predefined methods predefined data types okay so there what we want to do we are creating our own methods we are creating our own data types okay now to implement our requirements purpose same like this the accuracy and consistency it's not like that in all cases i can manage by using of constraints okay na so where we cannot manage there we can create what now triggers but the triggers we are not working in the sql language trigger is a topic and concept from pl sql so that's why in my second part i will explain to you what is a trigger but in this first part we will discuss about what now constraints okay na write down take siding constraints so constraints are nothing but guys here constraints are used to restricted to restricted or enforce to restricted or enforced forced the unwanted the unwanted unwanted is nothing but invalid data 
into a table so whenever you want to restrict here then you can and now there are six types of uh, there are six types of constraints okay now constraints are okay first one we called a unique constraint here second one we called not null constraint we called third one we called as a check constraint fourth one we called as a primary key constraint fifth one we called as your foreign key constraint sixth one is called as your default so these are total six types of constants including of default somebody default is not given and they are telling that five including default six excluding default five okay no right but these six constraints how to apply on my table structure on table structure how we want to apply this okay and how many ways we can apply your constraint on particular table okay no uh, so almost every database guys even though sql server mysql oracle db2 cybis informix ingress teradata maxdb okay post area sqls almost every database will be supporting two types of uh, constants will be applied two ways uh, two ways we apply our constraint okay now one is called a column level constraints one is called a table level constraints okay now uh, so now i don't almost uh, all databases are supporting are supporting the following the following two types of or the following two supporting the following two levels in this first one we called as a column level and second one is a table level column level constraints means what sir in this level constraint can be defined on on each column wise defined on each column wise okay now so how it is uh, means that for example you can go to create our table and we all of you know table syntax here so create table of uh, now we can observe carefully column name one and uh, we all of you know suitable data type we should be give it uh, if size is required compulsory size also mentioned next one is called as what now here column number 2 next one is called as what now here column number 2 sorry here in it apply na uh, here you can apply constraint name comma next you applied here column name 2 and as usual so data type of a size then after you can apply constraint and name comma and so on so that means what it was happen your constraint can be defined on each column wise that means individually each and every column it will be okay individually each and every column we can go to apply your constraint you can go to apply your constraint so this is what the column level what about table level sir in table level okay in this what it was happen so in this in this a constraint in this a constraint can be can be defined can be defined defined after 
all columns after all columns are declared declared in a table that means end of the that means end of the end of the table end of the table definition okay end of the table definition ah so here what i am saying here in this okay in this uh, a constant can be defined after all columns are defined so first how many columns you wanted in your table that all columns first create after that lastly that's called end of the table definition lastly you can apply your what now constraint now okay now for example what is the syntax sir careful of the syntax is observed so create as usual table name okay then i will go to open my brackets here okay columns sir i'm following here otherwise i can say better to here only i will write here again don't confuse column name one as usual data type of a size comma don't use a constant name next we have to use what now column name two okay and you have to data type and size comma like this you have to define or design number of uh, columns after that end of the table definition end of the table definition then i have to give it what now constraint name of this constraint are you applied on which columns column name one uh, column name two uh, whatever you want it uh, on that many columns you can apply here on that many columns you can apply it here okay now so end of the table constants are we applied right down below The two syntaxes carefully identified now. In first syntax, what happened? Every column definition after immediately we are using constraint. But here not like that. First you have to define all columns one by one, and lastly you can apply here. Okay, now. Ah. So now when we applied your constraints in such a way, in such a way okay the lastly whatever we applied here this kind of uh, constant mechanism is called as what we called as here take a comment here it is called as a composite constraint okay this kind of situation we called as what now composite composite means what now a constraint can be applied on multiple columns composite is nothing but multiple columns Here, if you want to write, you can write. That means what now? 
so applying on multiple columns applying on multiple columns composite constant means what now constant will be applied on multiple columns okay now now we can see this is table level and uh, this is one is what now column level so column level table level the both we have it here so now let you see one by one constant i will show you in the both cases then you will get some idea what is the difference in this okay now first one take your side heading unique so what is the nature of unique constant means sir okay to to restricted to restricted which values here means uh, duplicate values are restricted but but allowed nulls but allowed what now nulls restricted duplicates but not but uh, allowed uh, nulls this is the problem actually uh, now you can come out and see if you are example first i will show you column level okay then after you can go for table level so come to column level example how it was sir means that here also uh, i just go to connecting to my database now okay right and uh, how many tables i have in this uh, database now check it out tab list almost uh, 21 is there like test three something is there here test test one two okay now so like there are some tables sir we have it here so in the in this a uh, few tables i'm dropping now guys uh, test one Test two. Test number three. Like this. Okay, All right. So now observe, guys. Now I'm taking here some new table I'm creating. Okay. Now I will be take your test number one. So careful, observe. Serial number. The data type I was applied in teaser. Now on this, I will apply which constraint? Unique. So whenever this constraint is applied on particular column, what it was happen that column will not it will not allowed duplicates. Okay. Ah. But allowed what? Nulls. So like this, suppose same as another column I will take, where get two of some size. And here also we can apply unique. So that means now tell me when we observe this one or when you find this statement, what it was happen, unique constraint, I was applied on uh, two columns, two times. Then it is called individual. Uh, individual columns are? Uh? Yes, this kind of uh, creation is called a column level we call. Each and every column, we applied a constraint. Okay, now? Uh, so now once I executed this one, okay, sir, fine, the table is successfully created. Uh, then you have to test now, insert into test one values of one comma A. This is my first record, nothing problem. So it will be allowed here. And uh, if you call your test one table is very, okay. The test one table is also, your data will be successfully showing us. But second time, can you see if I'm inserted here, one comma B if I'm inserting now? What do you say? This is allowed or not allowed? Not allowed. Why, sir? Uh, here, the problem is what now? B is not a problem because B is what now? Unique. Actually, this is accepted. But when, which one is problem? Serial number because already serial number is existing here. So that's why here one point remember if you have a hundred columns on hundred columns you applied a constraints 
if any one constant value will not satisfy then remaining all constants columns data also not allowed so that means out of 100 99 is correct but one is wrong then what happened complete your registration will be stopped is it a in registration form also same logic huh? so for example 10 or 12 contents are there you are entering all the details if any content you miss or if any content you have some wrong then you click on submit then your registration success or failure fail so here also same thing whatever columns are there on those columns whatever constants we applied each and every constant of value must be support then only your row or row data will be allowed if any one is not mismatch if any one is mismatching then data will never allowed so you are the same thing name wise already name is what now a i am sending b so name is correct unique but serial number duplicate because the same number one is allowed already already existing again you are inserting means that is a duplicate or not yes that's why it was showing some error what is error unique constant is violated but sir my db 4 pm this is what it was showing so my db 4 pm means is our username but what is this sir it means that this is called a constant key identity is recalled this constant key id number is automatically created by who system that's why it is called a s y s but sir this key identity advantage is what sir where i can use sir what is the use of this id sir okay so these all are i will explain to you next sessions coming sessions okay now ah. so up to there you just remember it is a one constant key id number that's it and this number is generated by system but purpose usage what is what that we will see coming soon okay right so that means okay guys i didn't allow now this one not allowed this time which one is problem name is a problem serial number not a problem but name is a problem and let me go and see it is also showing error but in this error can you see your system id number same or different different so that is 170 this is 171 so that means what do you understand on each and every constant name wise one id number is going to be created okay now here how many constant i used two that means one constant i used two times then two times two different id numbers are created okay now so that is identification purpose but what it is later we can see so you can't but now can i can i know yes both are unique so accepted after accepted, you can come out and call your table. See, 1A, 2B. But is there any duplicates? No. But the problem is what now? In your, suppose, sir, okay, sir, up to here we understand. But the thing is, when I'm using null, what happened? Allowed. When one more time I have to insert, allowed. One more time, allowed. So nulls are any number of nulls can be allowed. But if I was given, okay, sir, allowed, that's okay. But second time, what I'm going to do, okay, what I'm going to do, some three, some C, if I'm giving now. Allowed, huh? Allowed or not? Yes, allowed. After allowed, you can come out and see the table. Come out and see the table test one and see what it was happened. Two, two, three rows between some gap is uh, created. What it was created? Gap is created. Nulls are created. So this is not look like good. Yes or no? I don't want to make it. Uh, I don't want to make it some gaps in between the rows. Okay. When your table is also not uh, looking good. So that's why what I want to do. This is allowed by unique constraint. But now what I want to do. This is I want to restricted. I want to restricted. So how sir? Okay. That we will discuss. First try down you.
this is column level okay Okay. This is normal. Okay, now right. But when come to table level, so table of careful observer guys here, it will be having some law uh, confusion. So table level, okay. How it was going to be checking your data or verifying your data? Okay, now uh, now come back and see. Suppose the same thing. If I want to create my table level, if I want to create, okay, if I want to create table level, now what it was happening, you can see. I'm creating the table as usual. Create table test number two. First, my columns are defined. I just defined my columns, okay? Where care of some size. Two columns, sir, we defined. That's clear. End of the table, I applied what now? Unique. I applied a unique. But this unique, I'm going to applying on two columns. Serial number and a name column and close. So now in this case, what it was happened, how many unique constraints I used here? Two unique constraints. We use how many here? one one unique constraint are you applied on how many columns two columns is it clear huh? this is called a composite primer a composite a unique constraint we call it. composite means a multiple columns applied okay fine 
so now how your database will be verified your data means that previous column level what it was happening individual columns are checking serial number separately checking whether duplicates are there or not there name also separately checking those are separate column level means what now every individual column is checking individually but here tell me your constraint is not individually applied your constraint is applied as a combination not individual as a combination you applied so whenever your constraint we applied on the combination of columns then data also verified as a combination data will never verified here in a individual individual never it is a combination of data will verify how let me come out and see so now i am inserting insert into test number 2 sending values okay na serial number 1 comma a this is my first record as usual allowed nothing problem then you can come back and see test number 2 so allowed nothing problem but second time i am inserting same combination of data the combination means a 1 comma a 1 comma a combination already existing in your table na yes but the same combination now again i have i'm going to again i am repeating here i'm going to repeat it so whenever the same combination if you repeat it to insert into the table then it is called a duplicate na duplicate or not yes so that's why what it was happening it was showing error unique constraint is a violator but the same thing can you see if i am inserting allowed huh? allowed because combination check not individual table level mechanism is different column level mechanism is different so table level what happened combination checking and now see whatever the combination i am inserting into my table 1 comma b this combination is there any existing in my table existing no not existing not existing means uh, this combination is called as what unique not duplicate this is different different combination not a same combination so different combination means what now unique so that's why it is allowed now we can go and check it out allowed huh? yes but now next i'm asking suppose if i send 2 comma a allowed ah huh? yes because of reason this is also not a duplicate combination 2 comma a combination of data do you have in your table no that means uh, this is a new combination sir this is what new new means uh, unique so now it was allowed but the same combination i repeated again allowed ah huh? not allowed showing error understand na ah huh? but now i am giving here 2 comma b allowed ah huh? yes it is allowed but again 2 comma b not allowed so now we can go and check it out okay 1 comma a is a different combination 2 comma a is a different combination 1 comma b different combination Two comma b different combinations. Understand na? Ah, uh, this is what a table level. Okay, both are combinationally checking. But sir, this kind of situations where you want to see in real time. Can any real time example, sir? Okay. Ah, uh, let me go. Now I am going to giving some names here. You just tell that is it okay or not? Suppose. i am using here india australia india pakistan india versus south africa 
इज इट ओके ना क्लियर है वॉट इट मीन हा इंडिया इज द ओनली वन कंट्री इंडिया इज प्लेइंग विथ हाउ मेनी कंट्रीज थ्री कंट्रीज विथ साउथ आफ्रिका विथ ऑस्ट्रेलिया विथ पाकिस्तान सो नाउ आई एम आस्किंग नाउ टेल मी दिस इज अ वन मैच इंडिया ऑस्ट्रेलिया प्लेइंग नाउ टेल मी दिस इज अ सेकेंड मैच फर्स्ट मैच फर्स्ट मैच फर्स्ट मैच मीन कैन एस ए यूनिक यस नेक्स्ट इंडिया पाकिस्तान प्लेइंग फर्स्ट मैच है सेकेंड मैच है with the with the, that combination i'm asking first match so that means this is also unique match huh? yes india south africa first match unique okay na so all are unique is there any duplicate any duplicate repeated no but now next time i'm asking now india versus south africa now tell me this combination of teams are playing first match or second match why sir ah uh, because in this combination already one match was played is it understand na so that's why this is i can't say this one is a unique match this is what we called a second match we called why we call second match means uh, this combination already played okay na same combination already played that's why this is called a second not a first that means same teams are playing once again yes or no same combination are playing once again so that's why that kind of matches we called a second third fourth fifth but we can't say unique okay na so now how we can say like the same as india australia india pakistan next second one second one same as australia india australia pakistan like you can go to check it out but is there any duplicate combination is there no one more real time now we can see now it is vehicle numbers are there okay ah suppose one vehicle number is suppose ap29 br some number 4332 this is one vehicle number another vehicle number ap29 br 4 Double three two. Is it possible within the same state there are two vehicles are having same number? Possible? Not possible. Why, sir? It's a duplicate, ah? Huh? Are you considered it is a duplicate? Okay, but now. TS twenty nine BR four three three two. Can I assign this number? Previous number also same now. Ah, previous number, first number, second number, third number, all are same only. Where is different? Ah, uh, so if you given like this, this is called a duplicate. So it will be not allowed. Allowed, ah? Uh? But this one, TS twenty nine, allowed, ah? Uh? Not a duplicate. Sure. Not a duplicate. Ah. Uh. this is called a composite yeah this is not a duplicate this is what unique number
Uh, so the unique number is got it now. So how I can save this data in my table? How I can save this data in my table? Like this. What is this here? What is this here? Two columns are defined. This is called a state code. This is called a vehicle number. Is it clear? Huh? Uh, in that situations, this kind of data, whenever I need to save in my tables, then on those types of columns, you need to apply a table level, not column level. If you apply column level, this mechanism will not satisfy it. Because table, column level means what now? Individually checking. Individually checking means it is accepted, but this is not accepted. Understand my point now? Uh, that's why in these cases, we are using what? Table level technique. Which technique? Table level. So that is the importance of a table level. Right down below. Okay, right. So this is column level definition and table level definition of your unique constraint. Okay, no? right. So now, but in these two levels, both levels are having a drawback is what now? Accepting nulls. Suppose you can see, uh, if you come back to your, okay, come back to your, uh, my first uh, table is what now? Test number one. So here, nulls are allowed same as if i want to insert your my test number two null comma null test number two test number two means what now table level in this table it is allowed one more time you can try allowed so finally if you see it if you see it three comma okay b or something allowed and finally you can call your table test number two 
సి నో సి వన్ ఏ వన్ బి టూ ఏ టూ బి నల్ నల్ త్రీ బి సో నల్ ఇయర్ ఆల్సో అలౌడ్ సో సో నల్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఇస్ దర్ నా సో హౌ యూ కెన్ ఓవర్కమ్ దిస్ నల్ ఓకే సో దట్ వీ విల్ సి ఇన్ టుమారో క్లాస్ yesterday notes is completed na uh, notes i send it trending notes but main notes also i am passing to you okay right so the constant notes also uploaded okay right guys thank you